Hello, in this lesson I am going to take you through the basic building blocks of geometry in uh, the sketcher. So rectangles are basically built of uh, four lines. So line is the basic building block for the rectangle. Now we are going to see how to create those lines and points in sketcher. So if you see in the toolbar, in the same toolbar which had the rectangle, there are also options for creating line and points. So we are going to go ahead and create a line select the line option and it's going to ask me to uh, select the first point of the line if say I want if I'm selecting the origin as the first point and then it's going to ask me select the second point of the line so with that we can create the line similarly if I want to create a point I have to just select the basic option over here and then click anywhere on the uh, workspace or if I want to create point on a geometry say if I want to create a point over here on this line I have to just select that line and click so it created a new point over here well, these are the basic options for creating points and lines and if you open up the uh, uh, line uh, toolbar so you will find uh, four more options for creating lines which are a little bit advanced options so infinite line is basically you can create an infinite length line whether it be horizontal or uh, you can constrain it any way you want you can give it any angle it's it's used for making infinite lines then the next option is uh, by tangent line so I'll just demonstrate the bi-tangent line using these two circles. So if I want to create a line which is tangent to both these circles, I'll select the outer uh, periphery of one circle, then the periphery of second circle is going to create a line which is tangent and coincident on both the circles. So this option allows you to do that. Then the next option is bisecting line bisecting line is basically if I'm say if I'm having two lines like this and if I if I want to create a bisecting line for these two I have to select both of these lines and it's going to give me the bisecting line that is the line which bisects these two lines this kind of line so it, it actually creates an infinite line with this and then there is the option of line normal to co so in this for example if I want a line to originate from this point and be normal to the circle at this point I have to select the first point the starting point and then end point should be on the circle anywhere I want it so if you see it's going to snap to the closest point which is perpendicular to that circle so it created a line which is starting from this point and ends at the circle which is perpendicular to the circle at that point. So this is also a very useful and also an advanced option in making lines. Similarly for points you can make equidistant points. Say I want to make equidistant points on this line. It will allow me to make equidistant points. Very useful can put the number over here 5 10 whatever it is and then there is the option of creating intersection point intersection point is if say I want to create an intersection point between this line and this vertical uh, origin line so the intersection point of this vertical and this line is this point so it automatically created a intersecting point these options are very useful for creating uh, lines and points for uh, using in complex geometry